So, Shak, we have uh, case number 16 here, and with me is uh, Professor Figula from Jena, who has working on, uh, on a new uh, PFO closure device. But before he explains you what he's going to do, I think we should present briefly the case. Whip is ready for that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Case number 16 is the 35-year-old man with a patent for Raman Wali. In March 2006, he had a cryptogenic TIA with left-sided loss of sensibility and headache. The ECG showed a sinus rhythm and the TE a patent for Raman Wali. Okay, thank you very much. So, would you like to explain what you have developed and what the purpose of oh the yes, device is? Thank you, works? Horst. Um, so, the, the device we are going to present is, uh, is the Ocloptec uh, Figola uh, device, which is shown here. Um, the device is very, it looks, it looks very similar to the Amplatzer device, but uh, it's a completely different braid. So the uh, the advantage uh, to to the Amplatzer is that it's it's just a, sh a single shell for the left atrium, which you can see here, which is a very flexible rim. So because it's not double double edged anymore, so it adapts to the left atrial uh, structure very nicely, and it uh, doesn't have any any hub uh, on the left atrial side. So that that means we redu we reduced the, the metal mesh to what is really uh, 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 what is really important, and and we avoid every metal part which uh, which is not not uh, important in the Amplitzer device. So the so the option the the goal was to make a good device even better and to incorporate all the good, uh, good things from the Aplasa, the flexibility, the, the retrievability, and the, the, uh, the braid, and, uh, but to avoid the, uh, the, the, the protrusion into the left atrium with just the flat uh, disc on the left atrial side. And it's made of nitinol, yeah? Yes, it's made of nitinol. Is there a difference regarding the uh, uh, thickness of the wire compared to the Amplatzer devices, or is it the same? Uh, it's 80 wires, so in the the Amplatzer comes with uh, with different uh, uh, amounts of wires depending on the on the on the diameter. So this is 80 di 80 di wires, and they are very similar to the to the. So. Otherwise, the attachment mechanism is the same. Just so you see the, the single uh, layer here. Okay. Okay. So it looks like the, the attachment system is the same. It's a screw. What's about the covering the material? Is it Dacron? It's, or yeah, it's Dacron. Dacron. Like mm -hmm. like the amplitude. So mm -hmm. Okay. You can see. So, sorry, I missed it. What size device is this? This is twenty uh, twenty-five uh, millimeter device. So we are in a clinical trial right now, and we are supposed uh, we are supposed uh, to use. Uh, to use it in 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 uh, in defects which don't extend uh, ten millimeters right now. And this defect, Horst, uh, any indication? It's, it's about size? nine millimeters. We we measured balloon size. It's eight point something. Meanwhile, okay. we can have a look on the echo. And what sheath does this go through? Oh, this goes to. Uh, Actually, it's here right now in, in ten French seas, but it goes through to the to a ni at nine or eight. Uh, very, very easy. Okay. Okay. We can take a better one. So I assume the deployment technique is quite similar to to the Amplitzer technique, right? Of course, it yeah. as you can see, it's very similar to the Amplitzer technique, and here is the fluoro.
how many cases have you done so far? Uh, I have that's the fourth case uh -huh. because we just started the clinical trial, mm -hmm. uh, and it's as you. Here you see. So the visibility is, uh, you can see it here. It's a single layer, so the visibility is a little bit uh, less because we, the material we implant is much less. As you see, there is no knot on it, and so now we 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 pull it to the like an amplitude uh, to the uh, to the septum. It's fine. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Push a little bit. Huh? Now I, I will release the, the right atrial. And I'll pull back the sheet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now it's uh, implanted. As you can see, we so we, we check it, we push it forward and backwards. You see here. So and uh, what is about the echo? It's it seems nice. Will this technology also work for, for ASD devices? Yeah, and okay. And other devices? Oh, the, so the other things are in the development, but in the clinical trial we just have the BFO device, which as you as you see it's much less material in the left atrium. It does never protrude into the left atrium like a double shell. And so uh, we we think it's perfecting performance in the performance of a, a good device might be better uh, with this device. Okay, so Everything is fine, so I unscrew it, and uh, we are finished then. Any questions or comments from the audience? Um, any questions or comments? Okay. Uh, no, I want to check it good. with you. Um, You see how flexible it is. It confirms to the left atrial shape. The rim is very flexible, as uh, of course, because it was just one one shell. So we we think the the erosion risk might be less. And. Is yeah. What do you think? Is the distance think between the two discs similar to the we don't hear you. PFO device? Or? We don't hear you. Is the distance between the two discs still don't hear you. similar to the amplitude? Hello, yes. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's regarding the distance. It's it's similar to the amplitude device. It might be a little bit n narrow. The ampl in the amplitude, it's three millimeter. We made it for two millimeters, but uh, the distance might extend when there is when uh, there is a tunnel shape uh, uh, conformation. Uh, it might. So the the adaptation to the to the uh, heart shape is very nice. And, and what is the cost projected to be? Uh, well, ten percent of the price of the AJA devices. Uh, you you mean <laughs> in addition? You mean? <laughs> 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 I, I can't uh, I can't say it right now because we are in the clinical trial and actually this was the first case I I, I did and. Horst will cooperate in this uh, this trial, and uh, it's his first case. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Any questions? Horst, uh, I think not. We're a bit behind okay. um, our schedule anyway. So thank you very much for uh, that take interesting a variation. Thank Shall you. Shall we take a, another projection and uh, share?